Welcome to the ZF Education Center. In this video, we will cover the oil change intervals for 5 HP transmissions, why to use genuine ZF lifeguard fluid and filters, and provide basic instruction for changing the fluid in the ZF 5 HP series transmission. A lot of discussion has occurred on the topic of oil change intervals for ZF transmissions. It is important to adhere to your vehicle manufacturer's specified change interval and it is very important to use authorized fluids. ZF lifeguard fluids are designed and tested to retain characteristics through normal lifetime operating conditions per the original equipment vehicle manufacturer's specifications. In instances of extreme driving conditions, special environmental considerations and driving factors which place an increased load on the transmission, it is advisable to perform a drain and fill between 50,000 and 70,000 miles or 8 years. ZF recommends that fluid from the dealer or lifeguard fluid 5 be used in all ZF 5HP19 rear wheel drive, front wheel drive and all wheel drive variants, 5HP24 transmissions with green transmission tags. If you have a 5HP18 with a black transmission tag, use Dexron 3. If it has a green tag, use lifeguard fluid 5. If you have a 5HP30 with a black transmission tag, use ATF LA2634. Please note that all-wheel drive variants contain a different fluid for the differential. Just like any other part of the transmission, Lifeguard Fluid 5 was engineered specifically for the 5HP series of transmission. The fluid is the means by which all components in the transmission operate successfully converter function, valve body function, clutch actuation, cooling ability, lubrication, particle suspension, and filtration. Using unapproved fluid will not only void any applicable warranty, it can lead to poor transmission function, shift quality, advanced wear of components, and premature failure. Do not second guess yourself. Use genuine ZF fluid, filters, and parts for assured performance. Now let's look at the procedure to change the fluid and filter on the 5HP series transmission. You will want to drive the vehicle so the transmission is at normal operating temperature. Caution! Hot transmission fluid will cause burns. You must wear protective equipment such as clothing, gloves and face and eye protection. Now secure the vehicle on a safe and approved automotive lift. It is of the utmost importance that the vehicle is level. Working under heavy equipment such as a car is inherently dangerous. Please do so at your own risk. Always exercise extreme caution when working under heavy equipment. If you are unsure how to safely secure your vehicle on a lift, do not perform this procedure and take your vehicle to a professional. Next, drain the fluid by removing the drain plug located on the bottom of the oil pan. After the stream of fluid from the drain plug has stopped, loosen and remove the oil pan screws, leaving only the corner screws in place. To remove the pan, push and hold it against the transmission housing and remove the remaining screws. Metal shavings in the oil pan indicate transmission damage an oil change will not fix mechanical issues with the transmission. Then, remove any gasket material stuck to the transmission housing or the pan. It is important to avoid scratching the sealing surfaces while removing the old gasket material. Remove the old oil filter. Filters vary by application and are held in place with two or three bolts. Make sure to save the bolts for reuse. Genuine ZF filters are engineered with specific filtration media. The use of non-genuine filters may compromise the filtration ability of the unit. Next, place the O-ring onto the new filter where applicable. Some filters use a ribbed type seal ring that is already installed. Lubricate the O-ring or ribbed seal with transmission fluid. Install the filter. Gently push the filter neck into place without unseating or damaging the O-ring or ribbed seal. Then install the filter bolts by hand while holding the filter in place. Then torque to 5 Newton meters. 
Remember to clean the pan thoroughly using solvent and wipe or carefully blow dry and make sure not to leave any residue. Also, please clean and reinstall the magnets on the pan. Then position the oil pan gasket and install the pan. Place and hand tighten the corner screws first to hold the pan and gasket in place. Now, install all pan screws and torque to 10 newton meters following a crisscross pattern starting with the middle of the pan. Install a new drain plug and drain plug seal and torque to 30 newton meters for 5 HP 19, 30 newton meters for 5 HP 24, and 50 newton meters for 5 HP 30. Remember to wipe pan and transmission housing so you do not leave any oil residue. To fill the transmission with fluid, a transfer pump must be used since the oil fill plug is on the side of the transmission. Since we are only exchanging the fluid in the transmission and not the torque converter, it may take approximately 4 to 6 liters of oil. Pump new fluid into the transmission until fluid streams out thinly. Next, install the fill plug. With the car safely secured on the lift, start the engine and briefly let the new fluid circulate through the transmission. With your foot firmly on the brake, put the transmission in reverse, followed by placing the vehicle in drive, and manual shift up to third gear. Do not allow the drive wheels to spin. Put the transmission in park and apply the parking brake. Measure the transmission sump temperature. The transmission should be between 30 degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade. With the engine still running, loosen and remove the fill plug. If fluid comes out of the fill hole, let it reduce to a thin stream and replace the fill plug. If no fluid comes out, pump additional fluid into the fill hole until the fluid streams out thinly. Next, Replace the fill plug and torque to 35 newton meters for 5 HP 19, 35 newton meters for 5 HP 24, and 100 newton meters for 5 HP 30. If the oil level is too low, you experience shifting problems when the engine is over revving and no power flow to the wheels, which can lead to transmission failure. If the oil level is too high, you may experience shifting problems, transmissions reaching high temperatures quickly, and oil leakage, which can also lead to transmission failure. Congratulations! You have completed a successful fluid change on a ZF5HP series transmission. We hope this has been useful in caring for your ZF-equipped vehicle. Please check the ZF Education Center for more informative videos or for further information, refer to the ZF website at www.zf.com us. You can also find ZF Aftermarket on Facebook and Twitter 